Main man, main man here, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., 48-1-1, one one. 32 knockouts, upcoming fight. He has my guy, Fauna Farah, who he's fighting. 26 wins, 3 losses, 15 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, what the fuck is going on with Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.? I am getting tired of this little shit. This kid has 50 fucking fights. Okay? 50 fights. We do not need to be seeing him fight Fauna Farah when there are other fighters out there in multiple divisions, might I add, that we would love to see Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. fight. Need I run down the list, ladies and gentlemen? Andre Durrell, Anthony Durrell, Andre Ward, Carl Frotch, Triple G, Sergey Kovalev, Adonis Stevenson, that's just a handful. What really brought on this video, ladies and gentlemen, and pissed me off about this kid was when, in one of his more recent interviews, they asked Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., why don't he fight Triple G? And his answer was, oh, I don't want to fight Triple G because um, he don't get him popularity up. Maybe he should go up to the light heavyweight division and fight Sergey Kovalev. A fighter that even Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. hasn't fought. That we are clamoring for him to fight. Don't give me that shit about weight. Because Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. with his undisciplined ass. He, how many fights did this kid came in overweight on? I mean, come on, man. When he fought Brian Vera in their last fight. He, they fought at a 173 pound catch weight. This fight against Fonda Farah this coming weekend. They're fighting at a 172 pound catch weight. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is ranked at the 168-pound division, ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck is up with this dude? You want to avoid all of the elite fighters of these divisions. And turn around and tell Gennady Golovkin he should skip over the 168 division because he fights at 160. Skip over the 168 division and go right up to the light heavyweight division and face Sergey Kovalev. You fucking bitch ass. Man, you know, I am getting tired of this little snap, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this fight with Fauna Farah this weekend, like I said, it's taking place at a catch weight. Now, it's kind of iffy because now we know Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is now linked with Al Heyman. So he is doing business in the Al Heyman way. Now, the thing is, is that uh, we know Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. was promoted by top rank Bob Abram and them. And we know Bob Abram and Al Heyman don't quite see eye to eye on shit. You know what I mean? So I'm still kind of murky on who the fuck is even promoting this fight. Is it top rank or is it not? I don't, not 100% on that. But from when last I heard of the conversation was that Bob Abram, who promotes Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., uh, he has rights to Julio Chavez Salvage Jr. This fight and the next. One more fight after this. They're saying that they're going to make this fight anyway and just pay Aram afterwards, whatever they fucking owe him. I don't know if it comes to that or not. Uh, but the fact still remains is that this is not the type of fight. We are tired of seeing Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. fight this level of fighter. You know, if you go back and you look at Chavez Jr. resume, it's not all that fucking impressive. Okay, he beat Andy Lee some years ago. He over powered Andy Lee some years ago. He came in as the much, much bigger fighter and he pretty much overpowered, walked through Andy Lee's shots and stopped Andy Lee. Okay, give you that one. He got stopped. He had a boxing lesson put on him by Sergio Martinez for 11 straight rounds, ladies and gentlemen. Outboxed, outclassed. It took a hell of a lot from my boy Sergio, though. I tell you, some say that fight is the fight that aged Sergio Martinez, but and he gave whatever he had left in the tank in that particular fight. But the fact still remains that he boxed Chavez Jr. beautifully that fight. Chavez Jr. lost. Brian Vera and Chavez Jr. won. Brian Vera, man, we all know the controversy that came with that fucking fight. Some saying Brian Vera won that fucking fight. In the second fight, sure, Chavez Jr. won the second fight. He looked a little better. He looked much better than he did in the first fight. But he wasn't that overly impressive. Just wasn't. This little shit needs to fight elite fighters. He has 50 fights into his career. Are they trying to inflate this kid's resume like they did his daddy's? 
Burr? Are they trying to do that shit? Because <laughs> truth be told, ladies and gentlemen, that Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., who we all know 100 plus fights, well, some are saying majority of those fights was against bums. Such as his fucking son. Majority of his 50 fights were against bums. So are they trying to mock, put him in the same footsteps as his daddy? What's going on with that? Fact of the matter is he wants to fight Carl Froch, though, at the end of the year. Um, you know, he's looking to fight Carl Froch at the end of the year. This is a fighter. Carl Froch is an aging champion. You know, he's looking to check out. He's looking for one big fight, it seems, to, before he checks out. He wants a fight over here in America before he checks out. So this is a fighter that Carl Froch sees, I mean, that uh, Chavez Jr. sees as a good opponent. Someone is going to stand right there in front of him. He could possibly either overpower. He may have the faster hands than, say, Carl Froch. We'll see how that goes. But he won't fight Gennady Golovkin, the 160-pounder. He's telling the 160-pounder to take his ass up to light heavyweight to go fight at the 175-pound division. Something he ain't even fucking doing. Amazing to me. We keep giving this fucking guy passes, man. Some saying, "Oh, I like Hard Chavez Jr. I like him. He's he's again becoming a better boxer." Over time, he has become a better boxer. I will give him that. But this is the reason why I want to see him in there with the fucking elite fighters, man. Andre Ward is at 168. Where Chavez Jr. fights. Anthony and Andre Durrell is at 168. Where Chavez Jr. fights. Triple G is willing to come up to 168 to fight Chavez Jr. if that's what it takes. This is bullshit. No disrespect to Fana Far. No disrespect to Fana Far, but his most notable fight to date is being knocked out in the ninth round by Adonis Stevenson. That's just being real with you. But Chavez Jr. need to cut the shit. This guy ain't even chasing no fucking titles, man. He ain't even looking for a fucking title. Oh, he has his money man with him, Al Heyman, now, so it's like, fuck the titles. This is bullshit. This fine. Now, Chavez Jr. has been out of the ring for about a year. So the last time we saw Chavez Jr. in the ring was like 2014, roughly about March, I think, uh, when he fought Brian Vera for the second time. So maybe after that year layoff, and if he sustained an injury or whatever the case, maybe this is the reason he's taking his easy fight. Or maybe... Uh, given that his issues with top rank are what they are, he's not trying to fight no popular fighters to make a lot of money for, say, top rank promotions. That could be an issue also. But, man, nobody wants to see this fucking, fucking fight. Fauna Farah has a style that's tailor-made for Chavez Jr., ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who are out there applauding this fight, oh, to be fucking ashamed of yourself, man. We don't, I don't want to see this shit. Not with this fighter. Not when this fighter ain't fought nobody on the list that I named. Hell no. Hell no. No. We want to jump on fighters like Adrian Braun. Or we want to jump on the Danny Garcia's about his cherry picking. But we keep giving this fucking snot a fucking pass? Hell no. No. Fight Triple G. Fight Ward, man. The problem they're saying with Chavez Jr. though is that He's not fast enough, say, for the super middleweights, yet he's not strong enough for the light heavyweights. That's his fucking problem. He needs to figure it out. His daddy need to figure it out. Al Heyman need to figure it out, man. Because Fauna Farah, this ain't the fight. This shit ain't ringing no fucking bells, bruh. This ain't ringing no bells, man. Put this kid in a title fight. Make him say... See, a lot of the fighters... And it's the crazy thing. A lot of the elite fighters want to really fight Chavez Jr. Because they see him either as a vulnerable uh, guy. They know he's a very popular fighter because he rides his daddy popularity. But they see him as a popular fighter whom they can beat. Ward sees that. I believe uh, Triple G sees that. I know the Darrell brothers see that. And he ain't stepping in there with none of them. Some are even saying that... You know, the Arthur Abrams or the James DeGales, you know, he, he, they don't even know if he can compete with them. And these, to me, are lower tier fighters. But the fact still remains, he has to fight the elite fighters, ladies and gentlemen. And I am not going to continue to give Chavez Jr. a pass on this, these fights. 
Fine affair. I don't know. He has one more alleged fight legally with top ranked promotions in his next fight. Maybe that'll be another bum. I don't fucking know. But he bets to fight one of these elite fighters. Or I am going to fucking bomb on Chavez Jr., man. I am tuning this kid out, man. For real. I'm tuning this fucking kid out, man. There, it's already been talks about his discipline. Talks about his commitments to training. Talks about his lifestyle and things of that nature. Now, he it does seem... Over time, that he possibly has matured some. I will give him that. I will give him that. But he must fight the elite, ladies and gentlemen. At least his daddy got in there with the elite fighters 60, 70, 80 fights into his career. Fuck, man. We haven't seen Chavez Jr. fight an elite fighter since Sergio Martinez, who put the thing to him once again. <laughs> You piece of shit, you. I am sick and tired of Chavez Jr., man. Let us not accept this fight, fans. YTBC, I am keeping my eye on you motherfuckers, man. Check Chavez Jr. on this shit, man. This ain't cool. Y'all want to see it? Be my fucking guest. Me, I don't want to fucking see it. Darrell, Andre Anthony Darrell, Andre Ward, Carl Froch, Triple G, Sergey Kovalev, Adonis Stevenson, if we're not talking none of those fighters, we ain't talking shit. And to the next video, it's your main man, made man. You don't like nothing I said, put it in the comment section. To the next video, I see y'all then. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget, I'm on Twitter at MadeMan511. Peace out.